morning guys. First off, I would like to point out that there's actually sun shining through my window. That is literally crazy for Edinburgh. So Britain has sun. I did not know that. Anyways, um, in today's video, um, it's going to be me talking at you, kind of. I hope that's okay. Um, I thought I would talk a little bit about binge eating because, as I said in my introduction video, I have history um, with that. And I thought I'd kind of just um, tell you a little bit about my story and how I got to that and how I got out of it. Mm, and then I want to do a little comparison between binge eating and overeating because I think there's there's some people out there that don't really know what binge eating is and they just say oh I have binge eating disorder but you don't and I think that mindset could help you and secondly I know that it's sometimes hard to describe to other people what you mean by this and what you're feeling and things like that and for them to understand and for them maybe to help you um, I hope I can kind of outline to you um, what it meant to me and maybe that helps you find the words to describe your feelings and your fears um, so I started my healthy lifestyle or my health journey about two years ago um, basically I was I came to university and I stayed in catered accommodation for the first year and obviously because you know they cooked all the food for you um, I ate pretty badly because let's be honest if the pasta's there the pasta's gonna be eaten not that pasta's bad but too much pasta is bad and I also had dessert and I usually would eat dessert before the meal because otherwise I was too scared that if I eat the meal first I'd be too full for dessert anyways so that was two years ago and um, let's just say that the first year at university did not do me well in part of body composition so because I was so unhappy I um, decided when I got my own kitchen and when I was doing my own food that I would start eating healthy um, and so I did and the first semester it went really really well I lost a lot of weight is probably exaggerated but I was not overweight to start with so I lost a lot of fat and I was pretty happy with that um, and then yeah it kind of it kind of went out of control because I started getting addicted to the weight loss I really got into that craze of I need to have the perfect body I need to lose more fat so I went on the internet and I informed myself and with informing myself I mean I spent hours and hours of on Pinterest or you know like ridiculous websites well Pinterest is not ridiculous but let's say the information are not always accurate so I informed myself and you know I found out about all the fat diets what you should eat what you should not eat all this kind of stuff and um, I came across low carb and that carbs are bad for you um, now I know there are some benefits to a low carb diet but I think to people like me that are quite um, sensitive to food and sensitive to like the mental part of eating, low carb can be quite damaging. So um, I would start to avoid carbs, I would start to avoid packaged foods, I would start to avoid processed foods. Like there was a time where I wouldn't even eat sweet potato and they're so good and life was terrible. Anyways, so I would have a very very restricted diet I would try not to eat more than 1200 calories a day which is very stupid for a person like me I'm relatively tall I was very active and 1200 calories was not enough for my body so I would be unhappy and somewhat hungry most of the time um, so that at some point I can't even remember the very first time I did it to be honest um, but at some point I would just be by myself at home and I was like fuck this and literally I'm sorry that I'm swearing but I was thinking fuck this this is terrible so I went to the store I bought all the food that I was restricting that I was loving like you know um muffins oh my god I love muffins bread peanut butter Nutella all this kind of stuff so I would go all out and eat it all in one sitting so at my worst I would binge probably every second day and with binging I mean I would eat a pack of cereal a box of cookies and a big bag of Doritos in less than 30 minutes. Um, so that would usually leave me very bloated, in excruciating pain. I usually couldn't even get up or move around, I couldn't go to sleep. And yeah, just really unhappy. I was plagued by guilt. 
I felt so bad. I felt like I ruined all my progress and I'm a weak person and I need to make up for it. So I was planning out what I would do the next day to make up for this um, huge overflow of calories. So usually it would be, you know, oh my god, I just do an extra hour of cardio or okay, tomorrow I just eat veggies and chicken, things like that. So it turned into this cycle where then the next day I would restrict even more, which made me even more unhappy, which made me even more conducive to binge eating. Um, yeah, so that was not a good time in my life and there have been a lot of exit strategies that I tried out and I'm gonna make um, different videos on those to help you guys if you're suffering from the same. But yeah, so since then I have been working to get over that mindset and to get to develop a more healthy relationship to food, to include all different foods or not to make this distinction between clean and dirty foods or things like that. To just I like my end goal is to be happy in my skin, to be able to eat just whatever without worrying about it. So um this is why I made these videos because I think there's a lot of people like me struggling with that and I hope that you can learn something from my journey that hopefully I can learn something from you guys if you have any comments and things like that um, but yeah this is kind of my background um, so obviously in the videos that I'm doing I'm not a dietitian I'm not a professional psychologist or anything like that but most of the information I'm giving out there is based on my own experience so, I already kind of went over what binge eating is in that little story, but I wanted to kind of make a comparison between binge eating and overeating. Because I think if you label something binge eating, you already set yourself up for this mindset and for the failure. So, um, yeah, I thought that was quite important. If you do not have binge eating, don't put that label on that. It's so much easier to get over whatever you want to call it if you don't necessarily make it out to be really, really bad. Obviously, if you have it, I know it sucks and I know it's, it's terrible. Anyways, so um, binge eating, I usually did it in secrecy. I would not eat all this kind of food in front of people. I would not go all out in front of people. And um, at the time where it was really bad, I would seek out to be by myself. I didn't want other people to know that I'm buying all this food and eat it myself in my, by myself in my room. So I would sneak out, go to the shop and come back and not let anyone show. And if someone like knocks on my door, I would like hide it under my bed um, so that they wouldn't see because I was embarrassed. Um, I, was, I gave off this image of being healthy and wanting, you know, to be all about that healthy lifestyle. And then I would <laughs> sit by myself in my bed eating all this shitty food. Um, so yeah, binge eating is under secrecy, whereas overeating, so... You know, overeating is kind of the normal way of having too much food. Um, it's usually done, I think, in social settings. Like, you go out with your family for dinner, you have pizza with your friends, you go to a Greek restaurant, and you just, you know, you just eat more than normal because restaurant portions are a little, you know, a little more. There's like a special thing going on, and you have just a little more food than normal. That is not binge eating, that is overeating. Um, when you binge, it's usually out of control. You, you eat everything and anything around the house. It is just about putting stuff into your mouth, chewing it and swallowing it. It's not necessarily about the taste anymore. Like, I, I would keep eating even though I did not enjoy the food that I was eating. You know, there's like a curve with food. Like, in the beginning, it's really, really good and gets better and better and better the more you have. But then, at some point, there's a turning point and it gets worse and you, I, you, it's disgusting. Like I remember going through Doritos and I was like, oh my God, why am I still eating these? But I could not stop. It is an out of control eating. Overeating in comparison is more about portion control. You just eat a little bit too much. You know, it's, you're not like, you know that this is your portion, but maybe you have like a little bit more because it tastes really good. You usually have it because it tastes good. You know, if you go to a restaurant and, um, as I said, with Greek food, it's huge platters of amazing meat and veggies and, you know, pita bread and whatever. And because you like it and because it's like this one night that you go out, you eat a little bit too much. It is not out of control. It's just a little bit of a portion control problem. 
and it's tasty. So that's why you eat it, not because you can't stop. Um, in relation to that, um, I always had this, this helpless feeling when I was binge eating, this feeling of being lost that I could not stop even if I wanted to. Once I started, I could not stop. Once the door was open to food, food would flood in. In comparison, overeating is more conscious. You, you're not like, usually you're like, yeah, I'm eating a bit too much, but it's fine for today. Like, you know, it's a special occasion or I don't do this every day, so that's fine. You could stop if you wanted to. Binge eating, you have a feeling like you cannot stop. It is like your mind is taking over your body and you just sit there and eat and eat and eat. And you would go out for more. Even if, you, if you, you think to yourself, I know I will regret this, I know this is not what I want, but you would go and get more. Um, then in the long term, binge eating develops into a habit. That is why it is so, so hard to stop. It is a habit. Your body gets used to it, your brain is used to it, and it becomes a reaction to certain triggers. You know, you react a certain way in certain situations. And I know that there are certain triggers for me, which I will discuss in another video, that kind of triggers this urge to binge, even though it doesn't help. It doesn't, it doesn't eliminate the feelings that I have. It doesn't change anything. It's just, my, I was naturally going to eat food in these situations, and at some point you get so used to it. Um, overeating, in comparison, is, you know, not regularly. It is more, as I said, special occasions, social settings, things like that, so it doesn't happen on a regular basis, like um, I would binge every second day. You don't necessarily overeat every second day. Obviously there's periods where you overeat more often than other periods, but it's usually not a set, you know, um, like set days or anything like that. And then finally, um, with binge eating comes a lot, a lot, a lot of guilt. I would feel so terrible every single time I binged. It, it, I was out of my mind upset. I was angry with myself. I had really, really negative self-talk. Um, and I, it just, it messes up your head. And I mean, with that guilt then comes the urge to make up for it. So, I would, you know, as I said, I would plan to do an hour of cardio to only eat very little the next day just to make up for those calories that I ate the night before. And that is when you enter into the cycle of restricting and binging, restricting and binging. With overeating, it is not a cycle. Um, you don't necessarily feel guilty. You're like, oh, okay, you know, I didn't need the second piece of cake. But you don't feel like you are out of control or you're a bad person for eating that second piece of cake. You, it's so much easier to move on. Um, it is something that you can deal with really, really easy. So yeah, um, that is to me what binge eating is. Um, I hope my little differentiation between binge eating and overeating was somewhat, help, somewhat helpful. Um, just to be able to express what it is, what it feels like, what it not is. Um, things like that. I think that is a very good starting point. If you if you think you have binge eating and you want to deal with it, maybe think about is it is it really binge eating? Is it all in my head or does it just, you know, is it just, oh, I had too much pizza when I went out with my friends. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you want more binge eating videos, I'm gonna put some out there just with some exit strategies, with some like triggers, how to avoid them, um, how to deal with it, and how I am still trying to overcome binge eating, but I've gotten a lot, a lot of um, better. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Was on my